Hello, Sunday. Yeah. Uh, you know what? I'm looking to do this video from long time, and now I have I have some time and I can do it. My car, yeah. I have a Toyota Prius, 2013, the plug-in one, yeah. And one of my problems, I got the car like two years ago. One of my problems on the spring, yeah. My electric range, which is normally like 14 up to 15 miles, on the spring I got only 10 miles. And uh, it's an explanation for that. That's quite normal because the car, the computer, um, the car computer, yeah, you have a computer there on your car, is reading your driving style. And obviously, the range is, it's, it's, the range is reflecting your driving style. So let's say, yeah, uh, yeah, the computer is reading your uh, driving behavior. My driving behavior, yeah. On the on the on the winter, I always in the morning start the car like 10, 15 minutes before, and I leave the car to warm up inside. I always drive with the with the with the heating of, on the chairs on, yeah? And uh, on the summer time, I always drive with AC on. So based on that, your electric range can uh, go very low. And obviously on the end of the winter, on the spring, my range is like, electric range I am speaking, yeah? The electing range is like 10 miles and and it's not okay because after that on the spring I'm not using the heated chairs and uh, I'm not driving with the heat on yeah the computer also will read the new behavior but that's more long so actually, if you drive worst, he will change the range quickly instead of changing on the good side if you dri start driving like economical, yeah? And I found a way how you can reset your uh, your computer, yeah? Your How you can reset your electric range. So you can reset like from uh, scratch. So the computer will start again and read your behavior. And that's what I'm doing on every, let's say, I think on spring. I've done it like twice on the spring. I reset the computer, so I have the full range. When you reset the computer, you'll have the full range, how the car comes from the factory. Like 14, 14 miles or 14.2, something like that. And you know what? It's everything is important when you drive. It's it's how you how you drive, how you... If you are careful, careful, you know, with the acceleration, or, and uh, or if you have hills, same like how I said about the heating chairs, AC, even the radio is important. So all these things can damage your your electric range, but it's very easy to be restored. Yeah, and I'll show you. I'll get the camera out. Now the car is fully charged. Probably will not be so big difference because I just I just uh, rested the the computer probably a few months ago, but should be some difference, yeah. So I will explain you how you can reset the computer. It's very easy. Well, how the people are doing this? Just taking out the 12 volt battery. You know the connection, and they leave it like five ten minutes, and but that's long, you know, because the the 12 volts battery. Is somewhere and it's, it's it's not it's not easy to take that that wire out you know that connection you take the connection out from the battery and just no that's not easy the easy way is just unplug a wire I'll show you how 
and you can restore your electric range you know maybe you are like me maybe you have a bad driving behavior or you want to sell the car obviously it's not fair to sell the car with like 10 miles range when actually the battery is like 14 15 miles range electric range yeah so let's go there I'll keep the video on because I don't want to edit the video uh, let's check that should be fun okay let's see yeah, it's a nice day it's a nice day yeah so that's my car I don't have a auto focus but hopefully it will be fine let's go inside I just fully charged the battery uh, let's start the car and saying the Look on my range, yeah? So my range now, it's 11.3 miles, yeah? You can see? And now the battery is fully charged. Let's stop the, let's stop the power. Okay, and let's go. <coughs> Okay, one second. One second. Just give me one second. Okay, let's go there. And I will show you exactly what do you have to do. okay so we have the engine yeah and here we have the fuse box you have to take out the cover yeah uh, let me bring this on focus if i can yeah you see here you have a big white wire yeah okay so that's the engine and here on the right you have the fuse box here yeah? just take out the white wire now the wire is what it's it's out here yeah? this wire comes from the 12 volts battery so now if we're going inside You can see the car is dead, it's not doing anything. You can press the power button, nothing will happen. Because that's why it is from uh, the 12 volts battery. It's not a high voltage one, you know, the 375 volts. No, it's the, the 12 volts one. You can leave that wire out, probably like five, 10 minutes. And after you plug the wire back, you'll see the magic. Let's go and plug the wire. Should be fine. It's not five minutes. Or well, even less. Should be fine. Let's check, see if it's any change, yeah? Let me plug the wire back. Okay. So the wire is plugged. Let's put the case back. Okay. Let's close this. Uh, let's see it's any magic on my electric range or not on the quarter car it's on now look on my range yeah uh, 
can I? Yeah, you can see 14.1 miles. I know. It's my camera. So I got 14.1. You see? Exactly what I told you. So from from what we start and what we got now. So now I have 14.1. It's a big difference. And on this point, yeah, the computer will start again to read your behavior. Every summer, and you don't, don't use the heated chairs, will be fine. This range, you'll have this range all the time. Or you don't use the, the heat. So that's the way how you can... Uh, how you can restore your electric range on a Toyota Prius plug-in. It's easy and now the car is like new. 14.1. Maybe if I switch the radio off will be higher. No. Media. The audio. The radio is off. No, that's my range. That's my range, 14.1 miles, yeah? Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the video and see you next time. Thank you, bye.